have seen our next guest in The L Word or The Vampire Diaries, two great shows. Now she's starring in Love Lights Hanukkah, a new Hallmark Channel holiday movie. We're so excited for you to catch this Saturday. Uh, please welcome Mia Kirshner. Hello, Mia. Hey, Mia. Hi. Hello, welcome. everybody. Great to Happy see holidays. you. Happy oh holidays. my Thank goodness. You. Look at you and look yeah. at your setup. <laughs> it looks great. This is amazing. We can't wait to dive right Thank in you. here. We were just speaking with your movie mom, Mary Lou Henner, earlier right. in today's show. And you two definitely awesome. seem to hit it off so much. Yes, exactly. And uh, so much so that you got Mary Lou to teach you some of her Broadway numbers. That's pretty awesome. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she basically. Um, she talked about Bob Fosse in Chicago, wow. and I'm, I'm, I mean, just incredible. And just to hear her talk about him and her work in Chicago, and there was something which I am a terrible dancer. I wish I could dance, but she taught me that isolated. Um, it's part of it where you have to isolate. I can't really do it, but you have to <laughs> isolate your finger. And it was just amazing to see her beauty and her precision and just. <gasps> You know, her stories are incredible. We love her. Oh, too. my we goodness. You're not too. kidding. Her stories are fantastic. Did she teach you any of that? All that jazz. Um, she, uh, she was, we, we were focused mostly on the finger because I was so bad. We couldn't move on from that. It's like, just do it like this. And I, I was like, my finger doesn't move this way. So anyway. <laughs> yeah, who, who got to the rest when your fingers wouldn't even move? All right. Well, she told us what the movie's about and we love the storyline. It's really great, but we'd love to hear more about your character, Christina and the roller coaster she's sort of on. She has, she goes through a lot of emotions in this movie. She does. Um, well, first of all, Christina is a chef or a cook, um, uh, and she she's running an Italian restaurant. And I'm not sure how much I'm supposed to say, or uh, but basically, she finds out that she has an entirely different family than the one that she than the than the family she grew up with. And it's about her adjusting and opening up her heart and learning to love after some sad things have happened to her. And I, I think for me, it was just such a pleasure to do the movie, especially at a time like this when we're all struggling with COVID and isolation. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people are struggling with mental health, their mental health because of the isolation. So to me, this film, it's wonderful to do something that's just about feeling good and about love and community. Yeah. And embracing the holidays. And, and that yeah. sometimes means a little bit of a different thing to different people. And I know your character kind of goes through that. Uh, we got a clip right now of Christina and David learning more about each other over dinner. So let's take a look. I don't know anything about my dad. I think about him all the time. Maybe I'll meet him someday. Yeah. Hey, it's time. Ready? Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. One. Two. <laughs> okay. Um, those who sit in judgment have a fear of being judged. You don't have to let go of the old to embrace the new. Okay, I, I, I think fate got us confused. I like that our futures overlap. That was a really so sweet. sweet scene, the two of you together. We had been on the show as well, so we're really uh, oh. celebrating this movie for sure. And I'm, I'm looking at you there with the, the menorah and the Christmas tree, mm -hmm. and I know blending of Christmas and Hanukkah together, that both of those traditions is actually something, obviously, that you honor in your own home. So tell us a bit more about that and how you managed to do it. Um, well, I'm Jewish, and so I grew up celebrating Hanukkah, and my father actually gave me this Hanukkah, so it's it's all ready for the first night of Hanukkah, and my partner um, is, his family celebrates Christmas, so I just, for me, it was just wanting to make um, him happy and my stepson happy, and so I kind of went to town with the tree and the mood board and uh, I basically put up a lot of pictures that I like and sort of try to follow the pattern oh, nice. yes that is my mood That's board beautiful yeah it looks like Downton Abbey I mean obviously <laughs> I don't Gorgeous. live in Downton Abbey yeah, it's a little pretentious and over the top but I was like how can I do this the dollar store way or the goodwill way so that's kind of 
where I started from, but mostly the holidays for me are about food and just, you know, writing love letters to my friends and family, how much I treasure them and I, I value them in my life and making them feel as loved as possible. Oh, it's beautiful. I love the mood board. I, I mean, you, you should hang out with my wife a little bit too. She does all the sketches and designs in advance too. We just gotta like actualize them. That's, that's wonderful. Uh, and since this movie is all about family, we have to ask about the newest member of yours, Strawberry, who I know is around there somewhere. Strawberry, come here. Oh my goodness. Up, 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 up. Come here. Oh. Here, up, up, up. Oh, Strawberry. Oh, oh here you go. Oh my there goodness. Strawberry. What kind of dog is Strawberry? Well, I'm not exactly sure. Hello, Mama. Oh, you're being such a good girl. Oh, oh my God, I can't believe she did this. This is the first time she's actually listened to anything I've had to say. Um, I, th I think that she, I'm told she's a German Shepherd, Australian cattle dog. So um, she is full of love. She's a spunky lady with a, a mind of her own, which I respect. She does what she wants to do when she wants to do it. Uh, which I respect as well. And uh, she's just, I mean, having a puppy is, I lost my dog Rainbow um, last year and Rainbow, Aww. oh, there she is. Yeah, Rainbow was like my ride or die. Um, just, you know, and I, my heart opened and I was ready for some, a new love. And I, I think animals come into your life in some ways to teach you and um, show you about the world. So um, I feel honored to be able to look after Strawberry. I'll do my best. And Aww. I just want to learn from her because she's here for a reason. Yeah, that's very sweet. She sounds like she has a great boss lady personality. I like that. <laughs> well, yeah. since this is the season of giving, we would like to send something out to you. This is a customized stocking for Strawberry. There it is, oh. her very own stocking, her name on it, and even her namesake, the little Strawberry. We hope it's gonna fit into your <laughs> oh, decor oh, thematic. I love it. <laughs> amazing because we were talking about getting a stocking for strawberries so now we have one and thank you that's it, very kind of it you it looks sort of vintagey doesn't it it's perfect it's perfect for strawberry and i just really appreciate that you thought of me thank you of course well we, we appreciate you, you joining us today and congrats on everything you have going on especially this movie thanks for joining thank us thank you okay everybody thank you. Holidays. Take care and happy holidays to bye you bye too. everybody you too, to bye you bye too. be sure to catch me in the premiere of Love Lights Hanukkah. It's happening this Saturday night at 8, 7 central, and it's happening right here on Hallmark.